that's called a situation. <laughs> okay. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Diamond Matrix Masters. I'm Ruth Elizabeth. Okay. I don't have a jingle like um, Tony Taylor. She is much more advanced. Okay. I saw something from you about 12 months ago, Tony. It was like, man, you had a jingle back then. <laughs> okay. I'll get one. I'll get one. I had my son doing up a little ditty. All right. So, you know what? We are in, in an incredibly immense time right now. And you know that we're trying to, my job, like I'm not one of these gifted people that has full sight and vision. So thankfully I rely on community who, you know, has. And um, we've just uh, been feeding through Diamond Matrix Masters the um, beautiful light work as it's coming through because we're actually just being uplifted every moment right now. Well, we've always done this, okay? This is the way it works. But with social media and everything, it makes everything transparent and we're just getting the diamond, the light codes coming through from all dimensions. Easy jar opener can open any size jar. It takes seconds. Um, so it's been really, really amazing. everyone can just mute themselves that'd be awesome i like being the star of the show just for the moment um but so we've got this immense portal that opened on the 22nd uh, of the 2nd 2022 and this portal goes all the way through to um uh the 22nd of this month so it's going to be 2202 uh 2022 Okay, that's just stretching my brain a little bit with the maths department. However, I have been doing two times table this week with my eight-year-old grandson. So I'm getting it. <laughs> okay, don't worry. All right, so what we're going to do is today, we're going to do this amazing meditation from the era of peace. And um, these guys pump out the purest I am presence. So it's always such a delight to... Um, do their work, okay? And it is real ascension stuff. What you're going to be gaining for yourself is just a pleasure to be able to, um, uh, you know, to offer it to you because you're coming into your divinity. We are coming into our divinity. Okay, remember I always start off with a soul that keeps us upright on our feet. Okay, what keeps you upright on your feet? Okay, what would happen if it didn't keep you upright on your feet? Okay, your soul. Okay, if it pulled out of the top of your head, your body would fall on the ground. Okay, and that's why we need to understand quantum law. We've got to understand what makes us the uh, actual quantum human being that we are. And we work with our own quantum field within us. And this is the return of your own soul in your own body. And your heart chakra and center is opening taking on greater light right now well this is taking on great light okay so i'm going to screen share i'm going to just give them a moment longer so we can get anybody else on on board if you have problems hearing it okay don't freak out to me straight away because all of our internet connections are at different spaces so you might have a delay going on all right so just wait for it I did check it yesterday. It appeared to be working. I'll get a little sound check off you for a moment if you can just blink twice or something like that. And um, we'll we'll get the show on the road. It goes for about 20 minutes. It has personal affirmations. You are actually, I am da 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 da. So I want you to take it personally. Don't just listen to it. Call it into your own body, into your own vibrational body. Okay, and then feel the ease as all of humanity and Gaia is being called up into this portal. So very powerful to do it as a group. Okay, awesome. Okay. Carlotta, you're just keeping me totally amazed at whatever you're doing there, but I'm so grateful that you're here. <laughs> You might want to turn off your video though. <laughs> okay. Look like you're at the dentist. 
If you say dumb or not, no, it's um, transcranial magnetic stimulation, brain zapping therapy. Oh, <laughs> well, well, we're going to help you, okay? All right, we're going to be helping you. Anyway, but you might want to turn off your videos just so that we can concentrate on the on the meditation. Thank you, darling heart. Much so anyway, appreciated. The, the machine, but much love, peace and blessings, and love and light. Thank you so much. Pleasure. <laughs>
All right, so I've got to leave myself on at the same time, hey? Yeah, that's correct. You can you can turn your video off, but you have to leave your mic open. Right, no worries. Thank you for that. Thank you. Let's go. Year of the tiger, which symbolizes both rebirth and re-envision. With this greatly amplified energy flowing through the collective cup of humanity's unified consciousness, the way has been prepared for the unique experience Awakened Humanity will co-create on February 2nd, 2022. On that sacred and holy day, we will experience a very rare numerical frequency that will assist in lifting Mother Earth in all her life through the powerful portal of light known as the Aquarian Gateway. The rare numerical frequency of February 2nd, 2022 consists of five consecutive twos. The master number 22 pulsates with the impetus of power on all planes and the ability to change the course of history. The master number consisting of five twos which we will experience on February 2nd, 2022, will amplify the divine potential of the master number 22, 1,000-fold. The company of heaven has revealed that since the obsolete paradigms from the past have now been dismantled, humanity, the elemental kingdom, and Mother Earth will be able to benefit from this incredible numerical frequency in miraculous ways as we ascend through the Aquarian Gateway. Today, the beings of light in the realms of Illumin Truth are asking us to serve as the open door for an activity of light designed to set the stage for this unprecedented opportunity. This activity of light involves elevating the matrix and the divine template for humanity's fifth dimensional life path to a higher frequency of God's light than we have ever been able to experience. Once we elevate the divine matrix to the frequency that will sustain the highest possible template for humanity's fifth dimensional life path, it will build in momentum day by day until the next even higher frequency of light we will be blessed with on February 22nd, 2022. On that day, we will be guided through another activity of light that will prepare the masses of humanity at a cellular level for the myriad life-transforming changes you and I will co-create in collaboration with the company of heaven and the rest of awakening humanity as we progress through this wondrous year 2022. If you have the heart call to assist with this important facet of Mother Earth's divine plan that we are being called to co-create today in preparation for our ascension through the Aquarian Gateway on February 2nd, please join with me now. And we begin. I am my I am presence and I am one with the I am presence of all of humanity. As one breath, one voice, one heartbeat, and one energy, vibration, and consciousness of God's comprehensive divine love, I proceed. As I invoke this activity of light for myself, I invoke it on behalf of every person on earth in perfect alignment with his or her divine plan and the highest good for all concerned. Now, 
as I lift up in consciousness. I cross over the bridge to freedom, which is the portal of light that unifies heaven and earth. I ascend through the Aquarian gateway into the realms of illumined truth. And I enter the pure land of boundless splendor and infinite light. This sacred space pulsates with the fifth dimensional crystalline frequencies of solar light associated with the new earth. Here I know I am one with God. I am that I am. The entire company of heaven is standing in readiness now. I send forth a clarion call into the universe, invoking my illumined brothers and sisters to come and help me during this moment of divine potential. The cosmic tone of my clarion call reverberates through all dimensions and the response comes from every corner of the cosmos. I see the luminous presence of legions of divine beings descending into the atmosphere of Earth. They take their strategic positions above the planet and as one unified consciousness of comprehensive divine love, the beings of light begin breathing into every person's heart flame the most intensified frequencies of our Father Mother God's fifth dimensional crystalline solar flame of unity consciousness and enlightenment that humanity has ever been able to safely assimilate. This new frequency of unity consciousness is pulsating with exquisite patterns, colors, frequencies, new fragrances, musical tones, and sacred knowledge beyond anything the sons and daughters of God evolving on earth have ever imagined. In response to this influx of light, the I am presence of every person on earth volunteers to be the open door through which this unfathomable gift of unity consciousness and enlightenment will be secured in the core of purity in every single particle and wave of life on this precious planet. Now, all is in readiness. Through the unified efforts of heaven and earth, we begin elevating with every holy breath the divine matrix that will sustain the highest possible template for humanity's fifth dimensional life path. This template is pulsating with not only the patterns of perfection we can imagine existing on our love-based new earth, but also with all of the awe-inspiring patterns and frequencies of perfection beyond our imagination. These are the patterns pulsating in Mother Earth's new contingency plan. Today, as we secure these patterns through the power of the spoken word, they will be released into the mental and emotional strata of this planet. One by one, the patterns will flow through the new record keeper crystals that were recently placed in Mother Earth's crystal grid system by the mighty Elohim. Now, through our elevated holy breath, 
With one voice, we command. I am the full expression of my I am presence here and now. I remember who I am and I love and respect myself as a beloved child of God. I know that I am perpetually enveloped in the invincible protection of God's infinite light and comprehensive divine love as I sojourn through all of my earthly experiences. In deep humility and profound gratitude, I consecrate every facet of my being to be the open door for the infinite light of my Father Mother God as I command. I am the open door that no one can shut. I am a cup, a holy grail, through which the light of God is now flowing that will lift all life on earth through the Aquarian Gateway on February 2nd, 2022. As this occurs through the majestic power of my Mother God's comprehensive divine love, all life is now given conscious access to the immaculate concept of the divine plan for the new earth that has been coded in Mother Earth's new contingency plan. On my elevated holy breath, the infinite light of God now flows through my heart flame, and I am now able to easily communicate with every person I come in contact with openly and honestly. I am now a compassionate and thoughtful listener. I am an exponent of divine family life, including my place in the family of humanity. In this heart-based space I now abide in, I am able to easily reach my divine potential in all of my relationships as a son or daughter, a woman or man, a wife or husband, a mother or father, as a grandmother or grandfather, as a relative, a friend, a co-creator, a co-worker, a way shower, and a steward of the earth also as a light worker and a co-creator of heaven on earth. Through my thoughts, feelings, words, actions, memories, and beliefs, I am now a living example of God's comprehensive divine love and divine will and of unity consciousness, oneness, divine truth, integrity, honesty, tolerance, acceptance, and reverence for all life. From this moment forth, I continually ask for divine guidance from my fully integrated I Am Presence. With every elevated holy breath I take, I now intuitively receive divine guidance and heart-based solutions to the various situations surfacing in my life. I also receive divine guidance that will assist me to easily fulfill my divine plan, which is my purpose and reason for being. I now know 
through all levels of my multidimensional consciousness that I am a powerful instrument of God during this auspicious time on earth. With this knowing, I consecrate my life force to loving all life free. To assist in this holy endeavor, I invoke the fifth dimensional crystalline solar violet flame of God's infinite perfection to instantly transmute into light the residue from every thought, feeling, word, action, memory, or belief I have ever expressed in any time frame or dimension, both known and unknown, that would in any way prevent these patterns or the elevated divine matrix and template of my new fifth dimensional life path from manifesting in the physical plane on earth. Now, I clearly comprehend in brand new ways that I am a multidimensional being of light. I abide simultaneously in both the pure land of boundless splendor and infinite light and on Mother Earth. With this revelation, a greatly empowered sense of oneness and reverence for all life awakens within my heart flame. The comprehensive divine love and divine will of my Father Mother God now perpetually flow through my heart flame, blessing all life. As the comprehensive divine love and divine will of my godparents flow through my heart chakra, I am lifted into a higher state of unity consciousness, and my life is transfigured. From this new level of unity consciousness, I am able to tangibly receive and fully comprehend the patterns of perfection for the new earth. I witness the masses of humanity joining forces with the company of heaven and light workers everywhere as we co-create the patterns of perfection for the new contingency plan in the physical plane of Mother Earth. All traces of pain and suffering are being transmuted into light. Every concept of lack and limitation ceases to exist, and the abundance of God floods the earth. People everywhere perceive and acknowledge the divinity blazing in every heart flame. Humanity now knows and accepts that all life is divine. This realization inspires every person to feel and express love and mutual respect for every part of life. As the collective thoughts and feelings of humanity continually empower the patterns of perfection for the new earth, the physical plane is transfigured. The body of Mother Earth is restored to a verdant paradise of splendor and light. The life of every living being is filled with our Father Mother God's comprehensive divine love divine will, unity consciousness, enlightenment, eternal peace, harmony, balance, abundance, spiritual wisdom, and every other pattern of perfection for the new earth. These heart-based patterns 
are the natural order of being for the new day on planet Earth. At long last, Mother Earth now dons her seamless garment of light and ascends up the spiral of evolution into the full expression of her new fifth dimensional crystalline solar reality. And so it is. I am. I am. I am that I am. Dear ones, contemplate the magnitude of what is being co-created during this rare opportunity for humanity, the elemental kingdom, and Mother Earth. This incredible light will build in momentum day by day during the next three weeks as we prepare for the quantum shift that will take place on February 22nd, 2022. God bless you. I look forward to being with you next week. Wow, how was that? It's pretty amazing. I'm so grateful that you all came in. I mean, it's so unutterable. You, you can't say what this is, what we're doing at this time, you know, to be able to come on to uh, such a magnificent uh, time. We put, did you feel that carrion call when we actually called out the carrion call out through the cosmos and everyone came in from all times and dimensions. It was just so magnificent. You know, we often feel isolated and alone, but we certainly aren't. And we all put up our hand together, didn't we? Okay, we're all here together. Okay, not one of us can do this without each other. That's the precious nature. You know, this is true equality. It's the divinity of our own soul that keeps us upright on our feet. So talking divinity, okay, we're coming into divinity. And, you know, it's just been the biggest, almost like a culture shock to going, I am divine. I have Father, Mother, God in me. And I am of Father, Mother, God. You know, and this leaping consciousness is so much greater than what we're actually dealing with in the 3D world. It is becoming conscious of your divinity. Whew, so feel that I am. And that's what we do here with Diamond Matrix Masters, isn't it? We bring you into your I am, I am. Which means that is enough. That is more than enough. I am. I am Ruth. Own your divinity. I am Janet. Okay? I am. That's all we need. Okay? The divinity within you is Mother God, the Divine Feminine. The I am is Father God. The I make passage. The doing power. Mother creates the world. Doing power comes in and through electromagnetic connections creates vibrational worlds that you as creators put out. The holy child within you is the pixelator, the one who calls it from your own quantum field, okay, and brings into being. So each one of us representing, and I love the way she used the word um, mothers, fathers, mother mother's god and father's god so she was actually talking all of us all of our mothers okay in the unity of the one but that's within us isn't it so each one of us has the triune being so she actually uh, did mention that 
And did you feel the joy of Gaia for those that have got your 13 strand DNA activated? Did you feel Gaia just go, wee, you know, inside your body, inside your light body? Okay, it was just a thrilling moment when she's going, yes, to this upliftment and we could feel it in our bodies. Okay, it was absolutely beautiful. So, you know, this is just a joyous time. I really encourage us that we actually do this through until I do this daily. We're in a three week ascension portal and, and it takes us on the ground to do it. Why is this important? This is actually really important because you are a creator in 3D with free will. Nothing can be done on planet Earth without us who's Earth side. Okay, we have to be on the Earth to command it. Nothing happens. I do not give knowing consent is one. Okay, that goes, I don't give knowing consent to any nonsense but I do give consent, permission, call in, I decree, okay? And so it's very, very important to do it. Uh, another message that's been coming to me because I've been just feeling so overwhelmed. So this has been like just such a joyous freeing up and coming into unity um, with my divinity, okay? That's our only journey right now is into sovereignty. So um, I was about otters the other day and I just want to say it because it didn't come on last week otters came through another um but that doesn't matter because i always take all the goodies out of everything i'm a bit of a gleaner being ruth okay so we glean the information we glean the goodies out of things get to the heart of the matter and so it was basically i had this burden of knowledge now i know that every single one of you has this here you have this burden of knowledge. You know what's going on in the world. You know the game. You have great spiritual knowledge and giftings, and we've been shown what's here and what's happening. But that burden, okay, is too overwhelming, and you're not to carry it anymore. Just let go of it. And I had to let go of it because we've got to be in this moment as the otter, playful and free, okay? Let go of the burden. We don't care anymore, okay? It's obsolete. Really not important. Do not carry this burden. And I had to choose to let it go. And it was amazing. Again, the just love kept coming in from around us. And that's what she said today um, from Era of Peace was that we are now able, without these little sharp edges, okay, that affect our love relationship with those in our families and with all of that, that was actually taken away in this beautiful contemplation and work today. Okay, so let's get rid of all of those rough, rough edges. Let go of the hardship. And when I did that consciously, I let go of the hardship and I have been okay. All of my frustrations have just been released. Now, there was one other message I wanted to bring to you. What was it? I know I'm going to be upset if I don't remember it. Anyway, we'll let it come through. But, yes, yeah, so be the otter. It's time to have fun. Oh, my God, yes. Okay, so you have a board of directors within you, all right? You have the divine feminine, divine masculine, divine inner child. They work in union together, okay? But, by the way, I just speak linearly because it's linearly because it's teaching us who we are. But the truth is they blend and merge together. They never get missed. They never okay, get so you are a unit of light. But what is happening now in this time, and you can trust this, your destiny is coming through. So we've had people in our um, Diamond Quantum School and as part of our activities downloading, like after hours and that, downloading immense vision and people are getting healing centers all over the world. Well, we've already always said this, but then we think, oh, I've got to go and buy a property and all this type of jazz. And, you know, then I'm going to have to pay it off. And somehow it's got to come to me. And it's very, very heavy, you know, on marketing and things like that. No, these visions that are coming through from the goddess are so beautiful. The strategies are so light. 
and um, one was so simple and we're going to bring bringing it out shortly so keep an eye out for circle okay it's called circle and um, we've been able to I've been a part of assisting in the infusion of this energy and it's going to be just healing circles in parks that's just going to go across the world and there is no work involved okay so I haven't asked permission to talk about this to the person who's participating with me on this because it's coming through but I have to say there's since this week we've actually had other people going oh my god I've had that too oh my god I've had this too and this is where people can just come in come into healing come into heart connection sort of things so you my friends you are going to be gaining incredible knowledge you'll be downloading things that are so simple it's not about how you're going to do it so i want you to trust that there's no burden on you to pull off anything or do anything that you have never done before it's all going to come all of your help is going to come other people are going to be a part of your vision so i want to know what your divine feminine is going to bring through you ask okay divine feminine take the time don't worry about sleep you don't need sleep i'm having a poke at someone here okay or will be on the replay okay but you don't need these things okay just do the work write it out draw on the vision contemplate the vision let the strategy birth through remember we talk about um, vibrational absolutes in the law of acquisition by the law of acquisition that which comes to you will blossom and flower and open up and you won't have to lift a finger because all that are involved will actually come to you so this is what you've been asking for you've been asking for freedom you've been asking for the new earth you've been asking for the new systems the new ways and this is the way it's going to come and yeah, you guys are nattering all right so i want just want to say love you heaps if you feel to play this over and over and over thank you thank you thank you do the light work we all need it okay and remember that every man woman and child every kingdom on this earth is totally connected to like she said the heavens okay it's like whoa full engagement full engagement is that ollie okay how did you enjoy this morning any testimonials any thoughts in that what did you get while you're going through it i'd really like to hear Hey, David. <laughs> How did you like that, Anne? Well, I um, I listened to it yesterday morning because I think you posted it um, on Facebook yesterday. So I listened to it. Then I listened to it again. And then I listened to it with my headphones in. Oh, my gosh. It just filled my heart that I am present oh my lord I was in tears yeah love it I'm gonna listen to so we can listen to it from now till the 22nd yes oh look you were doing a, an immense light work every time you're claiming that every time you're growing in it you're actually healing your body understand you are healing your body you're infusing your light body for body wellness heals the physical body, the mental body, the emotional body, balances the brain chemistry, okay? You cannot be calling light bodies up into full consciousness unless your body is going to be healed. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Gaining in consciousness is full awareness of your totality and your blessed healing. Yes, but, Janet. It, oh, um, sorry. That's yeah. okay. No, important, please, Anne. Um, but is, is it like common to be exhausted? I feel that there's a lot coming. <laughs> so I used to be under what's called the glory in the church, okay? And it was like to total wipeout, okay? If you want the best stuff to be on, it was the glory of God. When you're filling up with energy, you can consider it as being fatiguing, but it's actually a really heavy energy that's going in and it's doing the work in your bones. 
<laughs> well, it, it's it's transforming. So you're going through like this mighty detox as the Christ light and essence is actually going in, drilling in to your original DNA. And your blueprint is going, ha oh, ha, I remember. It's excited, it's thrilled, it's waking up. Okay. Mm. So depending on wounding, depending on trauma, depending on how we deeply we've gone in and how much work is coming in. This is why it's hitting people really hard because a lot of people haven't done the work, they haven't been on the path. Okay. It's gonna be different for everyone. Okay. okay. And people talk about, you know, body problems and you know, aches and pains through ascension and that you don't have to do that, okay? If you turn on your diamond, filling up, pulling the energy, running the energy and those symptoms because you come into the I am presence and you, your soul is not of 3D. Your greater you is the divinity. So you don't actually have to be affected by things unless you believe in that. So people who believe in it, yes, are affected by it. If you don't believe in duality and separation, but just the unity of the one, which is this message, you will absolutely receive your wholeness. You don't have to suffer. So remember, I teach on the law of acquisition, that amazing school. And by the law of acquisition, you, the creator, decide what your creation wrapping anything with. You can creation wrap it with hardship, time and space laws, Okay, take as long as you want, but you're the creator of it, or you can have it in a holy instant. <laughs> it's up to you, but people don't understand that they are the creator and that they, by the law of acquisition, actually bring into their life exactly the perfect vibrational match of what they're pumping out. Mm. <sighs> Self-responsibility. Oh, my God. A vibrational creator we are, okay? and it comes back to us as a perfect match. That's why I teach in the, in the law of acquisition, and don't play the game, that you are, okay, currently living all that you're a vibrational match to. So guess what? After this beautiful meditation today, I am currently living all that I am a vibrational match to, which is the ascension of the earth and myself. So that's way better space to be. And now this is where, okay, your board of directors, your triune being is going to bring you dreams and visions and vibrational absolutes that bring solution. Okay. And that's why we can let go of the old knowledge and the old fears and the old worries because the solutions are coming through your greater you. And you will be delivering them. And I want to hear about it. You guys, we are all experts in our own different streams. Some of us love humanity. Some of us love the ecosystem. Some of us love the financial systems. Some live, love um, whatever it is, all of those different streams, we are here with the right amount of people to do this work. I put up a post that came through one day. There are as many people on the planet to save the planet as there was to destroy it. Isn't that cool? So trust. Okay, really trust it. So let go of the burdens, come into this vision that we saw today. Please do it over and over and over because you are going to expand in your divinity, expand in your consciousness, heal your bodies. And God knows what's coming on the 22nd because that's sounding like a fantastic, fantastic time. <laughs> okay, Dr. Janet. Uh, I believe I, I really know and honor what Richard is going through. And I think this is all the old purging and pouring out. Yeah. And today he had a very Christ consciousness vision. Ooh, I look and he's supposed to come home tomorrow. So I really want him. I can't wait for him to hear this. Oh, awesome. We'll have that yeah. read up pretty well straight away yeah both youtube and diametrics masters 
Yeah, and then we'll get with you too. I'll take the moment while thinking about YouTube. Okay, remember I've written this beautiful book. Okay, it is really for now. It is really for now. Diamond Matrix Masters Self Mastery Level Once on Amazon. Get it in a couple of days. But it teaches quantum law. Okay, it turns everything back to front and upside down. What we thought was true is not true. What we um, need to learn is quantum law. You have to learn how to be a vibrational being so that you can emanate true stuff onto your own quantum field which is written into your original dna okay did anyone else want to speak in on what you got today because we want those dreams we want those visions let's go kasha yes you know i'm so proud of myself i survived those many years to meet this beautiful crowd and to be saved and to witness those moments with you guys and to feel that peace and love. Oh gosh, I love it. I love you. It's been such a big journey, Kasha. It's been such a big journey for all of us, okay? You know, I people go, oh, you should tell your story, you should tell your story. And I go, you know what? I spent so many years in my story. I don't even want to talk. It just, it's not even relevant to me anymore. Joshua. Could you uh, first, could you give me the name of your book again? My quantum wall? Yes. Diamond Matrix Masters. Self-mastery level one. Kasha, you're down on the job today. You usually put the link in. And your name is Ruth? My name is Ruth Elizabeth with an S, not a Z for those that do that to me. All right. Okay, did anyone want to say, Tony, how are you going, darling? It's a hell of a ride. Do you feel better? If you don't feel better today, I'll come over and slap you. <laughs> it's just a, it's a, it's going to be a, it's a, it's a journey, isn't it? No, it's not. We're going to do it in a holy instant. So let's make that decision. Okay, law of acquisition, let's drop it now. Oh, there's some things going on. It's very interesting. Okay, I'll chat with you later. Yep. So much. Um, there you go. So Kasha's just put the um the book link in for you. Thank you so much, Joe. Love you heaps. So glad to have you here. All right. Well, I'm going to turn this off in a minute. Um, does anyone else want to share at all? Yes, Joshua. Yeah, I was just asking for the book, and then I wrote it down, but I didn't get to say my part. Yeah, let's hear. Um, I'm feeling my uh. I call them hands and light when you feel your hand chakras vibrating more so after after. Okay. What is it when you feel your hand chakras vibrating? That means well, I, can, that I, can just, I can feel like a uh, great energy increase in them, like there's the tingling sensation, you know. Um, you point them I, at I, things. You point yeah, um, things. You point like, them to your heart like and you fill up. You point them to something that needs healing. You project it out to wherever you want. You're the master. So when you fill up with energy and you can feel your your uh, hands heating up, that's your gift as a healer. And they're not heat. They're not hot. Hey. Eh? They're, they're not hot. They're not heating up. Mm -hmm. uh, the energy. I can feel the energy, like at a uh, higher vibrational energy, and I'm, uh, I call it hands of life. This is the book I have over here. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're a healer. So just heal. It's like, just use them. It's like, have the intention. One of the basic principles, energy goes where you intend it to flow. So you're the master. And you're actually um, through beautiful energies. But if you can focus on diamond energy, Raisha, rose energy, really come up into the higher frequencies now. Rose energy. Yeah, and diamond. So diamond is um, actually setting up people's light body and bringing them into consciousness. My God, Rebecca, have you always been there? <laughs> hey, sister, did you just come in? Um, maybe a minute ago. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. you just missed it. But don't worry, I'm, I've recorded it all, okay? Um. I've just had the most amazing time with Rebecca this week. How have you gone? Are you going good? Don't answer if it's not. 
No, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Wonderful it's healing. Pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. Rebecca's reading the book and I think you're on your second round, are you? All right. Hey, when are we going to see you again? I'm here every Friday, okay? Unless something takes over. I'm also working on my audio book, so I'm actually headed to a studio as much Ooh. as possible this month to get my audio book out because honestly, it's ridiculously overdue. Yeah, <laughs> so I just don't have time for anything at the moment. It's crazy. But uh, anyway, love you all. I'm going to um, stop this recording. Blessings. Keep up the Aquarian portal. Keep it open. Keep it live. Keep drilling it. Okay. Keep pumping it. Keep affirm affirming it. Yes, Joshua. Uh, um, I wanted to ask. Uh, is is okay? So we're in. Uh, so just joined. It's Noble Goldman, right? Is is Susan Shimsky in here? I don't know. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, well, um, I need to invite her then. I need to talk to her or whatever. She's one of my friends. She's my favorite female author. Did you I say Annette you Noonan? Noonan? Annette Noontill? No. 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 All right. Um, Susan Shimsky. All right.